This next opening round contest contains not just six very unique personalities, but real clashing styles. We can't wait to see how the House of the Seven Seas matches up against House Revival. Months at Chikara, we have seen how House Seven Seas have become a formidable trio, but I don't exactly know that they are all friends. No, Murloc has any friends, but House Revival, they are entirely different in that regard. Three longtime friends who are responsible for helping revive the scene here in the UK. In the process of organizing this year's King of Trios tournament, it was a real pleasure for me to reconnect with my two old friends, Jody Fleisch and Johnny Storm, who were quick to advise me that during the revival period of British wrestling in the aughts, there was a figure who went off overlooked, a proponent of the NWA and their various affiliates all throughout the United Kingdom and Europe, is Johnny Moss, the powerhouse of House Revival. Of course, Fleisch and Storm are world-renowned high flyers. In fact, during the mid-aughts, I would say they were two of the three best high flyers on the planet. They're also frequent tag team partners. They've got a wealth of experience to call upon that permit crowd, Cajun Crawdad and Murloc, do not. And it will be interesting to see how these two trios mesh, how they match up. The differences in their styles, I think, will become very, very evident. On Bryce Remsburg, King of Trios report just a few weeks ago, the crowd and the crawdad made it known they intended to put the pinch on Storm and Fleisch to slow them down and prevent them from using the high-risk offense that has been their calling card. I know this is tough to imagine, for more than 20 years. Storm over 20 years pro experience, Fleisch over 21 years pro experience. Oh, Storm is going to humor the crawdad. Indeed, he is not off to the ropes quick as can be. Up into the air with a Frankensteiner. Storm takes crawdad down to the mat. He's reeling in the corner. Elevates Storm, who lands very nimbly on his feet. Swing shot into a spear that takes the crawdad down to the mat. Johnny Storm's not wasting any time. Does he fly from the middle strand? Huge moonsault press. Looks like he hasn't lost a step in all those years. <laughs> well, no, here. If the Crawdad's expecting a measure of mercy, yeah, he's unlikely to get it from Johnny Storm. Both the Wonder Kid and Jody Fleisch world traveled while the majority of Moss's success has been found right here in Europe over the last two decades. What a comeback story it would be for these guys to win King of Trios, the biggest tournament in all of professional wrestling that has brought together 48 of the finest pros right here in Wolverhampton for one epic weekend. 
Well, over 500 fans from around the planet have jammed into the Star Wars to see it all go down. And before tonight is all over, only eight of the 16 participating trios will remain. Will House Revival be able to get past House Seven Seas? Jordan Fleisch in the ring right now against the Hermit Crab. I don't know if you can afford to play the speed game with Fleisch who tries that monkey flip variant. No, Hermit Crab was ready. Now look at the Hermit Crab pick up the pace. Fleisch was ready. Cartwheels onto his feet too high with the back elbow. Crab accelerates with a whip. The top strand and onto his feet with the back flip goes Jody Fleisch who arm drags the crab. Look at a pair of arm drags. Third one. Mm -mm. It's a block and a pinch to the Hermit Crab. This is exactly what they outlined weeks ago. They're gonna exploit those pressure points to paralyze and pause the Brits if they can. There may not be any stopping Jody Fleisch. Look how quick he was back on his feet and explodes with a drop kick right to the face of the Hermit Crab who heads back into his corner. I mean, he wants to tag out to Murloc. We've seen this as a pattern with them. When things start going the other direction, Crab and Crawdad will bring in their heavy hitter. Maybe Fleisch is ready to bring in a heavy hitter. Here comes Johnny Moss. Maybe one of, not, one of the two most powerful men in the entire tournament is Johnny Moss. He's only been on the WWE's radar. I don't know, Cajun Crawdad flexing his muscles. I don't, I don't think matching strength with Johnny Moss is the way to go. On the other hand, if you're going to try and dig your fingers into the trapezius region, searching for that paralyzing pressure point, you take a look at the shoulders of Johnny Moss. He might have your work cut out for you. Crawdad slapping on a full Nelson. Look at the ease with which Moss just broke out. One of the safest and most secure holds in all forms of wrestling. That full Nelson, he broke out of it with ease. And now he's in a reverse wrist lock. Oh, took him right over the hip. Just threw his thigh to do it. And now it looks like he's going to throw the crawdad all the way across the ring. He hits the turnbuckle very hard. Overhead, belly to belly, suplex. Launched him like he was nothing. Johnny Moss ruling the ring here at King of Trios and clamped a side headlock onto the Hermit Crab, whether he likes it or not. Johnny Moss just ran through the Hermit Crab. They better come up with an answer for this guy fast. Trying to match him in the power department, I think, would be a real mistake for the Hermit Crab, who vacates the ring to trigger a tag to maybe the only one who could hope to match power with Johnny Moss. It's Murloc. I was hoping we would get to see this pairing before it was all through. It's going to be a good old-fashioned hus fight in the center of the ring. Murloc versus Moss. From the collar and elbow tie, they jockey through a position. Moss half strangle, half Nelson combination, commonly known as the Cobra Clutch. He unwinds Murloc and a clash of shoulders. You can hear the sound the contact made, fans. Murloc off the rope, the big head of steam, but he couldn't budge Moss. Murloc called for Moss to hit the ropes one more time. Nobody's getting the better of this exchange. And I guess we're not going to find out who will because the Hermit Crab interjected himself and helped eject Moss from the ring. Now it is Storm against Murloc, only for a moment. Low bridge, well done by the Wonder Kid. He goes underneath, and the Crawdad's waiting on Jody Fleisch. What picturesque work there from Fleisch and Storm. Hermit Crab! <laughs> oh boy. He just about got dumped on his brain case. Jody Fleisch all the way from the top turnbuckle. What is Storm doing? Whoa! He's got him covered up! What a breathless display, and you're gonna have to pull out all the stuff. It's King of Trios. If you wanna go on to night two, if you wanna make it to the finals, you're gonna need moves like that. And Murloc is gonna bring it to a screeching halt. He just about tackled Storm right out of his boots. Oh, 
Merle, a drill storm down into the mat with authority. And it looked like he just about drove all the life out of Storm's body when he did it. And now driving Storm back into his corner, the Crawdad tags. Murlock able to completely shift things in the favor of his team. The pendulum has swung in the favor of the House of the Seven Seas as the Cajun Crawdad looks ready to uncork one of his favorites. It's Gator Roll time, and unfortunately, Johnny Storm going for the ride. Round and round they go, and where they'll stop, only the Cajun Crawdad knows. Disorienting Gator Roll down on the mat is often followed by a corkscrewing suplex. There it is! Perfectly executed by the Cajun Crawdad. This could be it. What's the Crawdad thinking? Now it's Crawdad setting up the crab. And the spring off the middle strand. Drill Storm with that elbow drop. Will it be enough to hold the Wonder Kid down? Mm -mm. The right shoulder blade came up before the final and fatal three count could be registered, and Storm is quick on the crawl. He was very close to tagging Fleisch there. Crab and Crawdad doing a good job setting each other up. The trademark of a well-oiled tag team. And now both putting the pinch on the Wonder Kid. Now, referee John Barber is not going to stand for this. Got to really try and rid the ring. I'm surprised Barbara allowed that. It is, of course, at the referee's discretion at all times between bells. Woo! Well, that really backfired because Storm was able to nip up right to his feet and then drill both crustaceans with a double DDT. And he really needs to get out of the ring and tag. Storm does, he makes the tag to Johnny Moss. Whoa. Shades of Jim the Anvil Neidhart, the way he slingshot himself in that shoulder tackle, and then with a string of clotheslines, runs through, belly to belly suplex. He's got the claw dad. Oh man, how powerful is this guy? Freakish strength on display in the Star Works from Johnny Moss of House Revival. Are you kidding me? No way! He's got both of them hooked! What?! Belly to belly suplex! He took both of them over! With the belly to back suplex! He just lifted them both! This guy is so impressive, isn't he? And doing a great job distracting Murloc for Jody Fleisch, the Brits, not just on the same page, but same sentence, same syllable. And they'll need that type of tidy teamwork if they want to advance into night two. Johnny Storm looks like he's getting ready to fly, keeping his eye on his opponents. And as they come to a hall, he takes flight with a great looking tornillo. I thought this guy was a fantastic flyer 10 years ago. He's only gotten better since then. You know, Fleisch has packed on a lot of muscle weight. Can he still fly? Oh, you better believe he can! Springboard moonsault from the dead center of the rope. And here's what's so amazing about that. Let me just call attention to this. Tonight, we are wrestling in a ring that has rope ropes. A lot of times, you'll see the cables are used for ropes. That makes the flying so much more difficult. And Fleisch made it look easy. I don't know that a powerhouse like Johnny Moss is necessarily going to be doing any flying. Although maybe I spoke too soon. Are you kidding me? What can't this guy do? House Revival is taking the tournament by storm. No pun intended, Wonder Kid. showing off their dynamic teamwork and great high-flying skills. Yeah, even Johnny Moss with a great Tope Con Hilo. Johnny Moss chopping away at Murloc, who responds with a forearm. Once again, it's the two powerhouses going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the dead center of the ring. 
in the biggest tournament in all of pro wrestling. Only one of these two teams will advance. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We have seen so many impressive suplexes out of Johnny Moss. I don't know that any were more impressive than that. But Murlock, not to be outdone, just power slammed Moss. And you can see the pain etched on his face as Murlock revs up. Whoa, narrowly evades him there. Up over, they both tumble to the floor very, very hard. And that's another factor of having actual ropes, not cable ropes. Those types of things, they happen a whole lot easier, sometimes even by mistake, unintentionally, because of the give in the ropes, most of all in the center. Slingshot, sunset, flip, German suplex combination from Storm and Fleisch. Hermit Crab kept his eye on the action, and it's good that he did, for it might have been all for the House of the Seven Seas. And I don't know who would want to answer to a mad Murloc over that elimination into his pet hold. Of course, it's the Boston Crab from the Hermit Crab. Storm's doing a good job the way he's angling his body to avoid all the pressure going on his lower back in one spot. And this is enabling him to try and crawl for the ropes. He makes it. Gotta break the hold. No. Well, the Crab did break the hold there. Up and over so that the Crawdad can land an elbow drop on Johnny Storm. Will this be all? Jody Fleisch just barely made the save. I don't know if Storm would have come out of that one. Jody Fleisch uncorks a great knife edge chop on the chest of the Hermit Crab, crashing into the turnbuckle and following with a charge. He just rebounded right out into the waiting grasp of the Hermit Crab. Terrific looking spine buster. The Hermit Crab's been wrestling an outstanding game today in Wolverhampton, and he'll need to be on his A game if he wants to get past the likes of Storm, Fleisch, and Moss. What is Fleisch gonna do? No way! What a vertical leap into a huge Frankensteiner! Does he have the wherewithal to get on top and cover? This should be all fans! One, two, no! Murloc preventing the pin. <laughs> Jody Fleisch is so unbelievably impressive. You will see some flyers, when they put on the type of muscle mass Fleisch has, they can no longer fly. And if anything, Fleisch's flying has only gotten better. Johnny Storm unkicked up, super kick right on the face of Murlock, up into the leg drop. What combination offense for the Wonder Kid. No, only good for two. One more time, it looks like it's Storm who's gonna fly. He's managed to take Murlock off his feet. House Revival here in the driver's seat. Can they keep things going? Johnny Storm about to hit his offensive stride. The Cajun Crawdad's coming up behind. Setting him off balance into the waiting arms. Murloc's got him. No! Emerald Flosion right in the center of the ring! It's good for three! The House of the Seven Seas have done it! A simply scintillating effort from the members of House Revival. But even that was not enough to get past the House of the Seven Seas and the power of Merlin.